Hi, Mark here from miecctv.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up the Height Connect app on your mobile phone so that you can view your cameras from anywhere in the world. Now we're going to look at setting this up with the new GUI version 4 that comes on most new Height Vision DVR or NVR recorders. And we're going to look at doing this in multiple of different ways through the device itself using a web browser just so that you can get your device configured so you can view it from your mobile phone. So firstly what we're going to look at is if you're configuring your device from the recording unit itself and you have a monitor plugged in. Now if you've plugged in your DVR for the first time you'll be presented with the wizard. So first we just want to select our language which is English and then the next thing that the DVR is going to ask you to do is set up a password. So we're going to do that now and just set up a password. Now this is a password to access the recording unit so you'll need this in future to log in so make sure you make a note of it. There are password recovery options which we'll go through in a moment and worst case scenario you can get your password reset um, but it's just better not to forget it in the first place. What we'll do now is also create a IP camera password now for this instance, we will set it the same as what we've set the DVR password, but this can be anything of your choosing. So once we've set the password, your DVR or NVR will now ask you to specify an email address, which can be used to recover your password if in the unfortunate event you do forget it. So we're just entering the details now. So if you were doing this yourself, you would enter in your own email address. Now the DVR or MVR will also ask you to export a file um, that you can recover your password with. We're going to skip this step in this instance and it will also ask you to answer three security questions but we're just going to put a generic answer because this video is to show you how to set up the app and not necessarily how to configure the DVR. You can also set an unlock pattern but again we're going to skip past this. So the next stage of the wizard it will ask you to set the date and time. Here in the UK we're going to set it as date, month and year format. Now this is the first important bit, you need to make sure that enable DHCP is enabled. If you have a hard disk installed in your recording unit you will need to initialize it. To do this you just tick the box here, then click initialize in the bottom corner. It will give you a warning that it's going to erase all the data and you click OK. Again, we don't have a hard drive installed in this particular unit, so we're just going to cancel it. We've got no IP cameras to set up, so we'll next through this part of the wizard as well. And then we come to the platform access section, which is the part that we're actually concerned with. Now, we need to make sure this is enabled, and we need to set up a verification code. Now, again, this can be anything of your choosing, but we're going to use 123456. So just note that down, because we may need this later. You just need to agree to the Hit Connect uh, terms and conditions here by ticking this box and then clicking OK. Now this will generate you a barcode. If we leave our recording unit on this screen and head over to our mobile phone, we're now going to download the app so that we can link this up with our mobile phones. So when you're on your mobile phone, we're using an Android phone in this instance, so we're going to go to the Play Store. But if you're on an Apple device, you need to head on over to the App Store. And we're going to search for the app that we need, which is HIC Connect, which is H-I-K and then the word connect. And we want to install this app onto our mobile phone. So we just click install and that will download. Once the app's installed, we can just go ahead and open it. And we want to allow the device to access your photos and media. And we're going to select the country and region. Now we're in the UK here, so we're just going to scroll down to United Kingdom, but you just select your country or region appropriately. Now, we want to tap on the login option, even though we haven't got uh, a login set up. And as you can see under password, there's the option to register. So if we tap register and we just agree to the terms and conditions, 
Now you can register using your mobile phone number or an email address. In this instance, we're using a mobile phone. Once we've entered in our mobile phone number, we will be text a verification code. You can see in this instance, ours is 4117. If you were to do this via email, you'd just get the verification code via email. And now we're going to set up a password for our Hike Connect account. So this is actually the uh, account that we're using. We enter that in and press finish. And now we've got our account all set up. So we want to add a device now. And when we add a device, it should ask us for connection to the camera on the mobile phone. So if we just go ahead and tap add device. So yep, yeah, we just click allow and it will allow to take pictures. So now we can see the screen that we left on our recording unit a moment ago and it's got the barcode here. So we scan that barcode and straight away it's come up. So we just click add. Okay, so it'll say adding complete and we can go to next. Now here, this is the alias for your recording unit. By default, it will give you the model number and the serial number, but you can set this to whatever you want. It's just for your reference. So in this instance, we're just going to set it to my CCTV DVR and we hit save. We're just going to hit ask me later on this uh, push notification warning. But now if we tap on the uh, cameras, what it should do is present us with the live view from our cameras. So as you can see, it's all up and working. So now we can access our cameras from anywhere in the world. Next, we're going to move on to what we do if, for any reason, say the camera is broken on your mobile phone and you can't actually scan the barcode. We can go to the DVR, uh, if we right click and bring up the menu, and then we just go to the spanner in the top right. And the bit that we're interested in is the serial number. Now, the part of the serial number that we'll need is comes after the WR. So the serial number of our device is actually the nine digits after the WR. So in our instance, it's D for Delta 212191100. We can make a note of that, head over to the app, add a device. As you can see, our camera's broken in this instance. So in the top right, there's a little pencil that we can tap on. And now we can enter in that serial number that we just noted down. So now we've entered in the serial number, again the device has been found online and we can add it into the phone. Now we're being asked for a verification code. Now this is the verification code we set up earlier, we just enter that in. It didn't ask us for this before because it actually embeds that verification code into the barcode that you scanned, so it wasn't needed, it already knew that it was there. But because we've used a serial we just needed to enter in 123456. Once again we can go ahead and edit the alias of this recording unit, so we're just going to call it my DVR. And now it's successfully added to your mobile phone. Again, we can go and try and get the live feed and you can see we've got the live feed of the cameras. Okay, so next, if you haven't got a monitor installed onto your DVR, for example, if it's installed in a loft and you don't have a local monitor, but it is hooked up to the network, you can download the SADP tool. Now you can get this for PC or Mac and I'll include a link in the description. Now we've got a few devices on our network, but the one that we're interested in here is device number four. Now straight away you can see the serial number comes up. Now again, the important part is the part after the WR. So we can take the nine digits after the WR. We also want to make a note of the IP address because if the Hit Connect service hasn't been enabled, we're going to go to the IP address of the DVR, which in our case is 192.168.66.13. We need to log in. Then we're going to go to the configuration. We want to go to network down the left hand side and then we want to look in the advanced settings. Under advanced settings we want to click on platform access so we need to make sure it is enabled in here. If it's not you'll need to enable it and set up an encryption key. So we tick the enable box and then set up the encryption key 123456. So if you have successfully enabled this again what you'll need to do uh, just as shown in set now is Note down the serial number, which again is the nine digits that come after the WR. So in our instance, it's D2121900. Add the device, tap the pencil on your app, enter in the serial number. And 
And again, we can just click add to add this to the mobile phone and we'll input the verification code, which as we set up, it was one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now that's successfully added to your mobile phone. Uh, everything's all set up now, so you'll be able to access the system from anywhere in the world. If you're interested in any Hype Vision products, you can access the full range of them on our website, which is www.mieccTV.co.uk. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more technical support videos. Like the video and leave a comment down below if this worked for you.